How are we doing? Hey. Oh, I left the scores at 2-0. I am the best stream runner around. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Hive the Faithless. I saw uh, Hive playing uh, Smash 4 quite a bit, and he was uh, he seemed really, uh, really solid. Uh, oh. And uh, maybe like not solid enough to DI up, up throw uh, rest, but... It's okay, he got a laser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 5%, it's better than nothing. He's, he's playing a neutral RI, I didn't, I didn't actually get to see what happened. I just came back to the stream and there was an up throw up press. Yeah, that, that <laughs> was pretty much pretty much exactly what happened. Oh, oh, he missed that. He like jumped he off. Might be able to die here. Uh, no, I mean, oh. Oh, okay. Close. Yeah, I, I like the I like, like the punish. Enough uh, for a fair, might be able to do it. Or like a, enough for a fair. Do you know uh, what seed these guys are in that pool? Um, I can have a look. She's just over there. She's out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice combo from the jigs there, but uh, risked it all to win big and uh, ended up didn't paying off. Seen a lot of uh, like rolls and stuff coming out of the jigs. Like, seem very grounded for a lot of the time. Ooh, that was unwise. Yeah. Neither of these guys are feeded, uh, seated. Sorry, mm. they're in my pool. I should be playing it. <laughs> or you should pop on with them afterwards. Yeah. I, d I mean, I don't know if it's just if it's just me, but the jigs is like playing really, really grounded. Like lots of like rolls around on the ground and stuff. Like compared to what I'd expect. Oh, yeah, there was just a random pound there, just hoping to get it. That, that's more like it. Like, I expect that he's sort of like weaving in and out of dodge, uh, weaving in and out of fucks of space with the aerials. No, we we could go after this game, like just <laughs> just have our ball around the counter. But yeah, Ooh. Oh, I was just about to say like he was looking really sound after he missed yeah, the. To uh, be fair, in that situation, you have to get it or you're dead. <laughs> like. Jigglypuff can cover all the other options. It's just like, do the invincible thing. You have to do it. And, uh, yeah, like, besides that, uh, one sort of tech flip. Dead. Yeah, nicely done. Been going for a lot of rests, hasn't he? I think that one at the start. Yeah, he's hungry just for it. Gave him too much confidence, and now he's going <laughs> to win every single opportunity. He hasn't landed one since. To be fair, I think you've got to you've got to be like, uh, if you see the opportunity, it doesn't matter if you've missed ten in a row. Like, if if you if you're not going for him as Jigs, then why why are you playing now? Uh, I've got to play. Oh. Sorry, but I need you to go back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice combo with Pound there coming out as well. Catching the DI. Even in a backer. High still in a really good place, even though he uh, SD'd. Playing a really safe and smart. So he can avoid situations where he's on the edge at 8%, hopefully. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the. Uh, <laughs> I was really looking forward to seeing him uh, sort of adapt from all of those rests that happened. Like having two rests like that in a game just from, you know, the iron, or, you know, not the iron at all is uh, pretty rough. Like if you SD a stock and then you get killed by two rest, there was one non-rest stock taken, with which was just a pound combo. Like you can't keep doing that in this matchup. But other than that, he seemed, you know, pretty seemed pretty sound. He had a good grip on it, how to, how to punish well. Ah, uh, the Jake's Faithless. Yeah, doing a much better job at staying in, um, staying in Jigs' space here, but also not getting caught by you know, you know, just sort of random aerials. Good nair there to cover the, um, cover the, get back on. I think Jigs was reaching a little bit too much there. Like, can't be contesting with uh, Fox in the air like that. Just a little bit too hungry to continue that combo. Just a little bit too light for that. He's doing a good job at this stock though. Look for those super hard read there. He was reading that roll in. Which uh, was one of the few times that faces didn't go for it, surprisingly. Ian has put the wrong score on. Uh, Two 
too high a percent for that. Even uh, hitting off the wall, still getting the KO, just too high a percent. That was, uh, I'm not sure why he even went for the for that option, to be honest, because he could have ended up just bouncing off the wall and still getting punished for it all bad. Especially on 127% stuff, on a you know, 0%. I was saying before though, I'm glad he's just, you know, he keeps going for them rest. He's not phased by uh, missing a lot. Oh, that was <laughs> so close. That got real bad. Yeah. He's, he's having a, a lot of trouble, surprisingly, having a lot of trouble uh, getting down from underneath Fox, like still trying to contest with aerials instead of just using his mobility to uh, sort of maneuver around him and get back to stage that way. Uh, this should be game. Mm, went for the upper up I think if he had a charge or, you know, didn't up smash, he might have got it by then. That would have been sick uh, if he had got that, relying on the miss tech. Just a little too late. High looking uh, way more sound that game. Looking uh, way more proficient. It didn't really do a whole lot of tech flubs. So that's 1-1. One, one. Popping over to FOD, I guess he's banned Dreamland, which makes sense. Nice use of the throw there, just to catch him with the DI. See if you can catch him with some really bad DI. He's doing a really good job of just keeping space, uh, making sure that he's just keeping on the inside. Even that nice edge got there, but it wasn't enough. Not on Fox, maybe anyone else. Nicely done there. Want to see how high he keeps the space uh, through through center stage, making sure uh, Jix is on the back foot. We're gonna just sit it out on the back towards the edge of the stage. That was uh, reaching just a little bit. He's going for these pound like in arrest combos, but he's just been hitting the tech every single time. He's not going to be catching him out with it, except for that time. Nice job by High to get back into the middle of the stage there. Oh, the stage back. <laughs> goes for the uh, the. I'm not sure why he went straight for up B after that. But it misses attacking the cost Good edge got even a straight back up. Only took like five seconds for that stock. Uh, I think there's too much rolling coming out of Jigs and not enough sort of uh, weaving in and out in the air. A lot of hungry pounds. He's getting punished for these quite a lot. Flubs is, um, Flubs is punished though for the rest. Better have been a little bit more patient. That could have been the stock there. Good tech on the uh, on the outside, making sure he doesn't get caught at a really bad angle on the DI. Oh, uh, same flub as game one. Exact same way. Let's trash in. Just after I talked him up so much as well. I think High needs to try and do what he was doing in uh, game two, where he was just using a whole ton of lasers. Yeah, like that. Uh, no, not like that. So I'm going to stop talking about how uh, looking sort of technically sound and things. Uh, I 
I'm sure we'll be pretty disappointed that he's had two SDs, uh, three in a Seth. 